Hello, hello. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful day. Today is all about soul purpose. I'm going to talk about what is your soul purpose? How do you find it? Is it really important? Because this is a big one. And I'm hearing a lot about soul purpose these days. And more specifically, I'm hearing that people have trouble figuring out what their soul purpose is. And I'll cut to the chase really quickly for you here. And then we'll talk details. You are already in your soul purpose. You are already doing what you're here to do. You have a choice to amplify that purpose or not. And whatever you choose, whichever direction you want to go in is absolutely fine. So that being said, you are already in your soul purpose. What comes next? Some people might say, well, I'm not really sure. I'm not really doing anything. I'm not... What you need to do is look at what you're already doing, what you have a natural proclivity towards, and do more of it. And you will be activated and embodying your soul purpose. It is that easy. We sometimes think it's something bigger or huger or more profound. Everybody's soul purpose is unique and individual. Not everybody's going to take their soul purpose and make a business out of it. There are many people who are living their soul purpose and they're fully embracing it. And they don't even, they don't even call it soul purpose. So all of that being said, one of the ways, if you really want to identify what your soul purpose is, there's two things to do. One, start talking to that soul of yours. <laughs> See, sometimes you wonder what that soul purpose is, and you wonder, 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 when all you could be doing is talking to your own soul. Your soul is connected to your body. Communicate with it. And start by saying, like, hey, soul, thanks for, thanks for tuning in. I want to hear from you. Show me, tell me. Thank you. Start communicating with your soul. That's number one. Conscious communication. In shamanic practice, which is I'm steeped in and based in shamanic practices as a way of being, it's all about relationship. It's about relationship with the natural world, with the spirit world, with the helpers, with your own soul. And a way to be in relationship is through communication. Verbal communication, mental communication, psychic communication. Communication with your soul is not going to happen by you wishing for it. Communication with your soul is not going to happen by you waiting for something to happen, waiting for a sign. Start communicating now. Let your soul know you're listening. Do that on a regular basis and you will be surprised at how quickly your soul starts talking to you. That's the first thing, talking to your soul. To be in a relationship with it so that you can really Identify and understand your soul purpose, of which you're probably already living. Maybe not as fully as you want, but you're probably already living. The other thing is, is that often soul purpose is something that we embodied and had a strong draw to when we were younger. Most people who were adults who are looking for their soul purpose now they overlook that they came into the world with a sole purpose. Circumstances, humans, parents, family of origin, trauma, that all can kind of pop on top and shield us from really knowing what that purpose is. And you came in with it. So if you spend a little time looking at what you naturally were prone towards or inclined to do, be, say, reflect, when you were younger, you will find hints, if not huge clues to what you're here to be doing. For me, it's pretty simple. When I was younger, I had a lot of energy and I wanted to be with people and be everywhere. And um, there were complications to that. That's for another video. I had a lot of energy and I had a lot of things to share. As I, when I was little, I used to love to be in front of the camera. 
I used to make my dad and my mom set up the video camera and I would sing and I would dance and I would rope my sister and my friends into singing and dancing with me. I was really comfortable being in front of the camera. I loved it. I took dance classes. I loved being on stage. It turns out that part of my sole purpose is to be talking to people, communicating with people, both live and in person and on a camera. So I have been prepping for my sole purpose and in my sole purpose in its infant stages from when I was younger. Fast forward to when I was a teenager. I was always helping my friends. I had a natural inclination and desire and a gift for helping them. I helped them through emotional troubles. I helped them when they were in abusive relationships. I helped them when they had abusive parents. I helped them when they were seeking and searching and having problems with addiction. I just naturally supported my friends. And so as I evolved into a young adult um, in my early 20s and started really consciously engaging in practices and learning practices that help people, I already had a natural ability and inclination towards helping. And now in my life, years, decades later, I am on camera helping people helping people to heal like I did when I was younger. It looks a little different because the path expands and grows. And the core things, the core purpose for my soul was being embodied when I was younger. And I didn't grow up knowing all of this. It's only through reflecting and looking back at what I was good at, what I did no matter what, and nobody could stop me from doing it. That. Looking at that and recognizing that helped me to understand my soul purpose. And that's how I know you can do the same thing. Take some time to reflect on what you naturally were drawn to. As a kid, were you naturally drawn to creating? Were you naturally drawn to being out in nature? Were you naturally drawn to cooking or baking? I could go on and on and on and on. Chances are... If you sit with it, you'll be able to identify what you were naturally drawn to when you were younger. And therein lies your sole purpose. So take a minute, drop in the boxes below. Let me know what you were naturally drawn to when you were a kid. Whether it was spinning around on your head or making gloves, whatever it was, let me know what it is. Because I know that there's a lot that you could share and a lot that you did as a kid that's connected and um, part of your soul purpose. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. It is my personal belief that we can all be in our purpose as quiet or as loud as it is. Chances are you're already living it and you just are ready to embody it a little bit more. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you soon. If you love this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.